All right, Cass, why in the world would this dude say, no, I do not want to see pictures of my wife naked? He wants to know if he's an a-hole, but I'll go ahead and tell him you're an (laughs) a-hole. Here's what he writes. He writes, my wife is two, okay, keep this in mind, two years older than me. She's 41 now, and I think she knows that she's been aging. Already an a-hole. Even though she takes reasonably good care of herself, it's pretty stark how she looks and how everybody else in our group of mid to late 30s people look. Oof. She must think I'm not attracted to her either, you think? Yeah, right. <laughs> she has a friend who said she would give my wife a discount if my wife wanted boudoir photos done. So my wife went ahead and did them. And if you don't know what a boudoir photo shoot is, you're kind of scantily clad in bra and underwear, sometimes like fully naked, and you have these sexy pictures taken, but they're really tasteful and classy. Yesterday, she, quote, surprised me with the results of them, saying she hopes this, quote, helps. I frankly don't think boudoir photos make her any more or less flattering, and a quick glance at them did nothing for me. Mm. Yikes. She kept trying to get me to take them, and I finally put the pictures on the couch behind us and told her to stop being desperate and that there's other ways to deal with a midlife crisis if that's what she's having. To be honest, I hated how desperate she was acting and knew that the pictures don't do anything for my attraction to her. Am I the a-hole? On the count of three. One, two, three. No! What? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. I feel really bad for her. I feel actually. so bad for super, her, too. Super, super bad for her. He's only two years not, younger than her. But and, here's, even if the boudoir photos, like, that, that's not his thing. Like, that's not his jam. Seeing his wife like that isn't going to do it for him. She's obviously doing this for a reason. Um, so you need to put your feelings aside. You need to F your feelings, according to Bart Weiss, mm-hmm. and give your wife what she needs in that moment, that emo- emotional, um, mental love, so she can em- embrace what's happening. Is there anybody listening that had to be completely raw with your wife or husband and say, I am just not physically attracted to you? Because, I mean, this is really what I don't want to take those. This is what he's talking about here, right? So... Wouldn't you rather know that, even though it's a harsh, ugly truth, wouldn't you rather know that than have him or her live with that and sort of ostracize you the entire time? He didn't didn't say he wasn't attracted to her anymore, though. Well, kind of. In his own way, he did. Yeah, he's acting like it. Like, it's stark how different she looks, stop being desperate. I mean, it's clear he doesn't like them, but if you tell me you're not attracted to me, that's a one-way ticket to a divorce. Okay, for me, it's just the opposite. So if my fiancé comes to me and says, look, you got a little something-something going on there on that uh, little love handle of yours in the way that she would do it, which would be much sweeter, yes, I would be hurt by it initially, but I would much rather know that than have her live with the secret of that pain and... Because I could feel, I would be able to feel that she was like not getting as physical. The I'd fact rather that her say my it. love handles are more important than like, it's just, they're so superficial to me. That, and that's that also, would bother me, man. that's also very different from what we're talking about. Like, if you, you know, I agree with Kristen on this, but if you want to use the love handle as a, an example, it's a fixable problem, right? This, just aging in general, yeah. is not. And she's clearly, quote unquote, desperate because she feels her husband pulling away. Mm-hmm. So she's trying to do things to like get him back and he's just like ew you're even more disgusting to me now you old desperate hag is the vibe he's giving off and he he won't know how to communicate that in a sensitive way based on what we're reading right there not at all I don't know even know if there is that's why I guess what I'm asking is there a sensitive way to say to somebody like I'm just not feeling it physically for you anymore I I don't think so personally I mean and like I said already, with him, it's the language. That's what it is for me. It's not necessarily the message that he's trying to get across, but the way he's going about getting it across. And if, if someone got that message across to me in that way, I, I would certainly leave as well. Yeah, he's... Um He's like the D-bag of all d bags yeah, yes. so I mean, at, he ain't even try. You look at him, and instead of saying, oh my gosh, my wife is going through something right now mm-hmm. and feels me pulling away, so she's going to extra lengths to rekindle the romance in our relationship yeah. and to kind of get me back on board, how can I help her feel good about herself? I mean, to call your wife desperate in mm. a midlife crisis, that is just so gross and dismissive. I know they have the people responding. Um, what was the le- the level of a-hole we had going on here? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's I don't I don't have all the responses yeah. here, but when I looked at them, it was hand to sound, like, th- to the point where people are like, why are you asking this question? Mm-hmm. Kick him off the mod, like, the mods kick him off the thread because he knows he's an a-hole. So she wants to be called Jen, and she's on the voice disguiser, and this hits pretty close to home for her. Hey, Jen. 
Hi, how are you? Good. Appreciate you calling. What's up? No problem. I'll be honest. Um, my husband and I have been together for 12 years, and uh, he's my soulmate. 100% hands down. There's nobody in this world that I would want to spend the rest of my life with. We have four amazing daughters together. Uh, however, if I'm going to be honest, um, he's unhealthy, and he's got it's gotten to the point where I've had to tell him that I'm not attracted to him not wanting to take care of himself anymore. Um, he just, he doesn't try and he's gained an unhealthy amount of weight. I mean, over 150 pounds. And it's just a matter of, I want my kids to have their dad in their life, their whole life, you know, as long as possible. I want to have grandkids that we run around with one day and he's, he's just not caring right now. And so I did, I had to flat out tell him that you know, it's just, it's very unattractive and it's very sad. And I'm trying to do what I can myself to help him want to do better and uh, feel better about himself. But I'm kind of at a standstill because he just doesn't seem like he wants to. How did he, how did he react to that? Um, He was, you could tell that it kind of was a dagger in the heart and that was never my intention. Mm -hmm. Um, I just. I'm so, I'm afraid that I'm going to be a widow. He, his family has a long history of medical problems. And so I feel like now it's just, he, he doesn't try. And I feel like that's kind of leaving us alone and not caring about his health. Like that's going to kind of leave us here without him one day. Mm -hmm. And see that, there's obviously a bigger issue here. Like a 150 pounds of weight gain is a significant amount. So something else is going on probably emotionally and mentally to, yeah. to cause that. Or maybe I even physically. That, Pardon? He doesn't, he doesn't talk either. So he's yeah. kind of one of those, I keep everything to myself. So, so that to me is very different than like, you know, some love handles. Like this is a, this yeah, is a no, significant no. issue. Is, is it yeah, nothing outright that would, that... Like I said, I'm I'm attracted to his soul. Yeah. So, and I feel like that's what you're supposed to be when you're mm -hmm. married. So this gentleman saying what he's saying about his wife is completely disgusting because mm -hmm. I would never, that's, if you're with someone and, you know, they're aging over the years and you decide that you don't like that, uh, you weren't supposed to marry that to begin with. You were supposed to marry them for their, their soul. Listen, I've packed on 20 pounds recently. Do you think my husband has said one thing to me? Absolutely not. Hell no. Mm. You yeah. better not either. <laughs> <laughs> the Burt Show. So first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get The Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.